let's see how better use your IPS uh, in, in your in your infrastructure. IPS is particularly the the one uh, the XGS from, from IBM not only can send logs to your SIM but can even send flow data because of the strategic position that they are in the network. There's a lot of things that go through them and there's a lot of intelligence that they can gather. So let's say that you have a web app here and that uh, web application has been determined that has a vulnerability. Say that you, you run AppScan uh, with it and it found when, 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 when it ran it found that there is a SQL injection vulnerability in, in a, let's say this particular field of the of, of, of a form of your web application and let's say that you have a bad actor here testing every one of your fields for uh, SQL injection vulnerability so they're going to be probing every one of your fields in order to find that, right? So that is that is a common thing that uh, hackers do these days. And your IPS can easily detect that that you know you have, for example, SQL injection, union select type of traffic going to that IP, and it can send a log to your SIEM. The the question is, well, once the SIEM gets that log, I'm, I'm, is that something that is going to be really meaningful? Well, not really when you look at, at it, because they're going to be all the time people testing every one of your fields to see which of them are vulnerable so you're not going to be waking anybody up because that happened however if your SIEM knows that that particular IP is vulnerable to that type of for that type of attack and it sees traffic actually going into it in SIEMs like Curator it can fire an offense indicating that this event is really deserves uh, uh, your your attention. There's some action that needs to be uh, taken uh, because this is a meaningful event. Things that you can do once you do that, right from the same SIEM console, you can right click on the offending IP, the external IP where that SQL injection traffic is actually coming, and you can actually quarantine all the traffic they say well i'm going to quarantine let's say you put the policy on your ips for half an hour i need half an hour to investigate this incident so i'm going to be blocking any traffic coming from that ip and you do that exactly from the from the SOC, from the siem without having to even uh, uh, immediately uh, communicate with your ips guy let's say that you deem in, in that, that 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 that's a real attack that that's a real thing that you need to deal with so the next thing that you can actually do is that you can, from the same uh, curator console, you can actually assign that vulnerability with a note to your uh, IPS guy and say, please deploy this particular uh, virtual patch, this signature for the, whatever brand of IPS you have. Uh, it doesn't have to be IBM only. Uh, so it, it, every, every vulnerability, when it comes from the vulnerability database, there is a field that reads vulnerability has a virtual patch from vendor and then lists the vendors and the signature for that patch. Nobody's using that. But now with this approach, uh, having that, those things integrated, you can actually tell your IPS guys, hey, you know, block everything. I just quarantine the traffic. Uh, uh, please deploy this uh, signature so I can, uh, we can be protected against that. Then you can also do things like, well, from the same SOC, console you can determine whether that vulnerability has a fixlet for IBM Endpoint Manager or whatever is your uh, SCCM or whatever it is that you use to apply patches and if so go ahead and apply apply a patch but in the case of SQL the most likely there isn't any because the problem is with the code but now you had stopped the bad traffic coming by applying that virtual patch again the first line of defense was the quarantine then you did the, the virtual patch and now you can do actions like you know fix the code. Ask your developer to fix that particular vulnerability. And when you present all this evidence to your developer saying, hey, you know, this vulnerability exists. We have seen that people is, have been trying to, to, to block it, to, to, to exploit it. We have blocked that, but we need to actually fix that code. They, can, they will actually do that. And once they do that, you can actually tell back to your IPS guy to remove that signature because you don't want to have too many signatures running on your IPS because that can be detrimental to the performance of it.